Hi guys, happy uh, humble Friday or something similar. <clears throat> Today a uh, mixed series of rumbling and uh, kind of a beer review uh, of a beer which I have made <clears throat> but it's based on the recipe by uh, Dr. Hannes. So we are, I don't know how well can you see that. So what we are talking about here is uh, obviously a brown beer, an ale, which is a spiced one. A Christmas beer which Dr. Hans called the gingerbread man. I call it piparkakkumies. The same thing, just another language. Um, so basically, um, brown ale which has uh, spices which are uh, familiar to everyone from uh, gingerbread cookies. So quickly going through what's in it. 4.7 kilos of pale ale, 300 grams of uh, cookie malt, 300 grams of red malt, 250 grams of crystal 150, 200 grams of acid malt to fix my uh, hard water or medium hard, uh, 200 grams of carafoam, it's the Weyermann uh, specialty malt, um, 100 grams of chocolate malt, and that's about for the malts, and then kind of special spices, ginger root, I had roughly 300 grams of uh, fresh grated ginger fruit, uh, root. Um, I know Dr. Hans used 500 grams, but unfortunately our um, local grocery store didn't have uh, enough of it, so I bought all that they had, which was roughly 300 grams. And then I used a few pieces of a uh, whole glove. Um, uh, Dr. Hans used cumin seeds as well. I didn't have those. So um, I used cardamom instead. Uh, Dr. Hans used also bitter orange peel, which I did have, but I forgot to add. So shame on me, but that's the way it goes sometimes. For the hops, um, we had 15 grams of magnum uh, at 60 minutes. Uh, Cascade, 20, uh, 20 grams uh, in 15 minutes, William Net. 20 grams and 15 minutes cascade and William net again both 20 grams boil five minutes um, I used Safel 04 s04 to ferment this and I had a original gravity of 1.056 and final gravity of 1.019 so that gives roughly a five percent for the beer um, <clears throat> this is more or less the same crystal and, and, and uh, hop content that Dr. Hans used might be a slight alterations here and there and most likely not all the hops are exactly the same um, and uh, also the, the malts most likely not fully from the same manufacturer. I use quite a lot of Viking malt or Viking malt, which is a, a Finnish malting house. Uh, in fact, I guess it's the biggest malting house in Northern Europe currently. So um, I like to use that because they use um, domestic grains uh, for the malting. So that's good. So um, how does it taste? Um, first of all, it's flu season, so I'm not getting that much out of the uh, uh, smell. Uh, malty, chocolatey. Uh, it does have a sort of a foam uh, or a head to it. I cannot swirl the glass because it's so full. But yeah, uh, it will generate a little bit of head. Let's see how, how, how does it go.
gingery, spicy, very, very chocolatey. Um, this beer was brewed. Um, ba -ba -bum 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 -bum. Somewhere 8th of October, so um, roughly a one month ago, and it has been sitting in gig roughly two weeks now. And um, first, it was let's say overwhelmingly tasting as ginger, and now suddenly it has settled out really nicely and the chocolate is pushing out so it has kind of this gingerbread taste with hints of chocolate so it's kind of a having a Christmas cookie with a little bit of chocolate there and, and nice maltiness so all in all superb beer um, the ones who has um, watched my earlier video I recently purchased um, Blickman beer gun and the idea is that I will um, bottle this and give give us a Christmas present to my friends a few bottles here a few bottles there and, and, and hopefully people can enjoy it during the Christmas time and um, yeah I'm not going to wait until Christmas Eve but to give them during let's say within a few weeks or so because I think that this beer is it's peaking currently it's tasting very very nice so using this to bottle um, what else um, I will share a link to a video by Dr. Hans down below under this video to the comments so you can check how was the original uh, gingerbread man made by Dr. Hans I would follow rather that recipe than mine uh, although they are almost, let's say, 96% the same. What else is happening here? Um, let's see if we can uh, adjust the picture a little bit. Um, I'm painting this. So what is that? Uh, it's a uh, piece of metal plate and I'm using uh, this stuff. Um, it's a chalkboard paint. So the plan was that um, this is now sitting on, on top of my uh, geyser. So the plan was that I will uh, make this as a chalkboard and hang it on the wall so I can use different corals, chalks to mark what beers I have in the pipeline, what is coming and what is currently in the taps and so on. Uh, what else? I'm um, going to brew um, Pilsen tomorrow. Uh, Bohemian Pilsner uh, to be precise. Not exactly a beginning spear because the kind of the uh, crisp and clear, clear taste of, of the Pilsner doesn't leave that much of room for um, any mistakes. Um, yeah, traditionally Pilsner is made with the decoction mash, but that is so time consuming that no way I'm going to do that. So I'm uh, going to stick my uh, normal process and do it the easy way out. One step mash and that's it. Um, what else? I don't know. I guess this is enough for my uh, second video and, and uh, just... Uh, Wishing you a nice weekend. Thank you. In case you enjoyed the video, please thumb up, maybe even subscribe. And obviously comment down below. Good stuff.